Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from DIY Digital Art. Um, so the first ones, there has been a lot of requests in relation to um, the clips that I use on my diamond paintings. So the, I did spot some on DIY Digital Art. So I thought, I would share those with you. These are the pink variety. They are quite big, um, but I find that they work perfectly for holding your diamond painting on the likes of your easel while working on it. Um, I have used these on even a diamond painting where I actually started from the top. So it was going on top of diamonds, though of course I was a little bit more gentle than I was when it was going on a canvas without diamonds um, but I find these are great my light board light pad is quite thick and then my easel is thick as well and um, so double those two up potentially have some of my painting wrapped around um, a pipe lagging piece of foam and that can make it even thicker so I find that while these are bigger um, they work for all those circumstances so I picked those up in the pink variety because why not and then I do also have a couple of paintings to share with you from them this first one is a 30 by a 40 it is a round diamond painting this reminds me of like a I don't know if it's like a children's book I don't know I just feel like this image would look really good in a child's room but in turn in an adult's room too um, you sometimes just get these weird things when you when you see them but um yeah i thought it was a gorgeous image of this little fox running through the trees it is uh say 30 by 40 it has 22 different colors the actual canvas size get it to lay flat for a minute is 35 by 25 so you do have uh, five centimeters used for this border two and a half centimeters each side uh, and I say it is around the symbols look really clear the dark color is 939 so there is a fair amount of 939 around this side um, on the tree and down here mixed in with a few others but then you have some gorgeous green and brown colors in there you do get a toolkit standard toolkit and these are your colors so we've got some of these gorgeous oranges and peaches we do have the 939 and the 823 so they're your darker colors but look at that gorgeous sagey green colour and you've also got this which you could class as a brown but I think it has a green hue to it some beige and then you do have some grey and stuff for shading and there is a little bit of really dark purple in there as well that is 154 um, which is a really nice accent colour so I thought it was some gorgeous colouring on that one that will turn into a little fox running through the forest so that's item number two and then number three is a big one so this is 45 by 70 and I thought the image was stunning and I'm trying to see what that dark one is dark one is 310 so it does have a 310 background however there is not a lot of background on its own that's probably the most no there might be a bit more at the bottom let's go sideways so there is more at the bottom though actually when I look at the bottom a lot of this side here is not the black it's actually s3371 it's actually a lot of 3371 it's this corner that's black and a bit more of this corner so you've probably got about the same amount of black at the top and at the bottom it's a simple yet complicated design. Um, I just think 
it was say I thought it was gorgeous and um, you do have of course a tree trunk but the fact that you've got all these branches coming off the trees of the tree sorry singular it has 30 colors which help to make up all of this tree design the actual measurement for the design area for this one is just short of 40 centimeters by just short of 65 centimeters so about five centimeters comes off to you to give you your borders and these are the colors so we do have a couple of bags of your 310 and we do have a bag of your 3371 but then look at all these gorgeous yellows peaches browns greens that are all used to make up this tree and its branches and because it is a round when you do have the gap around the the round diamond um, it can actually the design that's printed on the canvas can really help some of those smaller features to pop to life because you can still see them around the background of the diamond albeit only ever so slightly uh, we've got a few places that will have quite a bit of a brighter yellow in as well uh, and we've even got a little bit of a sort of a burnt orange so that's the colors for that one i thought this one would be really interesting to do it's a lot of confetti um so while you do have your block here and your block at the top no matter which end you started you would be doing some block work and then you would have quite a nice bit of confetti before you get to block work again at the top and um, there's enough of the same color about but there is definitely quite a wide range of of the color shades especially when you get near this edge uh, so yeah they are my three choices for today i will pop links to each of them down below so that you can have a look for yourself but thank you to diy digital art for sending me these to share with you all thank you as always to you guys for watching um, check the description below for the links and happy shopping thanks for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon